Hello everybody and welcome to our Reach to the Sky Festival. So today we're going to be doing some Makaton moves and I've got a very special story for all of us to do together. Now I'm going to be signing to the whole thing but I've picked out a couple of actions for us to do together. So first of all, when I say didn't make a single tweet, we're all going to go like this. Tweet! Shh. And then next, we've also got a cat. So when you hear the word cat, we can do the sign and the sound. Meow! Like that. We've also got a ticking clock. So when I go like this, we can all go tick. We've also got some tapping. So find a surface, get your fingers and make a tapping like that. We've also got some music in our song. So I want you to pull out your instrument. I've got a saxophone, you could have some drums, you could have a flute, uh, a clarinet, anything. And we're gonna make this noise. Wah bow, wah bow, da dow. Like that, I'll do that again. Wah bow, wah bow, da dow. Very good. And then finally, we're gonna do some running like this. So whenever you hear me say, set off running, do a big running motion. Okay, I think we're ready. This is our very special Makaton story and it's called The Streets of Sound. Once upon a time, though not too long ago, the world was very quiet, very silent very slow. There were no people in the parks or buses in the street. Even birds who sat in leafy trees did not make a single tweet. Tweet! Shh. People had to stay at home in houses, estates and flats, locked in with friends or family or sometimes just their cat. Meow. One day though, something happened in a London Tower block. As a little girl sat at her table and stared with boredom at her clock. Tick, tick, tick. The time went by with nothing else to do. It made the girl feel restless and to be honest, rather blue. <sighs> but suddenly, her ears pricked up from a tapping down below. She peered over the balcony to see her neighbour, Joe. Just like her, he looked so bored and so devoid of cheer. <sighs> As he tapped his fingers on the windowsill and gave the little girl an idea. She rushed off to her bedroom, returned with a long black case and pulled out a gleaming saxophone and put the mouthpiece to her face. She began to play a raucous tune full of fire, rhythm and blues. Wah bow, wah bow, da bow. It broke the world of silence. Surely this too had broken the rules. As the other flats heard the tune that accompanied Joseph's drumming, it brought a smile to all their faces and they too were set off running, <laughs> grabbing every object they could find from which a noise could be made. Pan lids, milk cartons, elastic band, a drumstick from a plastic spade. Soon, the whole block had joined in with the song in a cacophony of sound. Wah bow, wah bow, da bow. All joined as one by music, which echoed all around. The word and sound began to spread along the lonely streets. For miles around, people leant out their windows with their makeshift notes and beats. They played and played all day long, wah bow, wah bow, da bow. As the sun rose up and fell, 
and met the music reaching to the sky in a never-ending swell. Until, at last, the sun went down and they finished, but without sorrow, for they knew, without a word, they'd do the same again tomorrow. Because although they were all separate and had to stay at home, as long as they had music, they would never be alone. And that's the end of our story today. You did really well. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for signing along. And be sure to check out all of the other videos on our festival page today. Thank you for coming and see you later. Bye.